Hope everybody is doing well today. As uh, usual, my haters and the Riververse detractors are just a endless, endless source of content for us over on my YouTube. And there was uh, some guy, I don't know if he was just frustrated, but he said what we all understand to be the case. He just said it out loud. Um, a lot of folks talk around this issue where it's just simply, you know, these guys don't like us. They hate us. And for what it is that we're doing in our efforts, let's set the scene. You guys may have saw this post. If you follow me on YouTube, simple post. And it seems like they, they tell on themselves in responding the way that they do to the most mild. And I mean, the most mild content that I make. So it's not even like controversial or anything, anything that I'm saying, it's just very basic stuff. And this is what it said. Customers want product. You sell customers product with respect. Customers voluntarily exchange money for product. It's not a rocket science. Respect your customers, give them what they want and they'll make you rich. It's that simple. Now this is what this guy had to say about it. One of these, uh, river verse attractors guys been in my mentions for months. He says this, your entire shtick is hating anything left leaning. How is that showing customers respect? That doesn't mean like the fact that he connects those anyway is a little silly. Of course, that's not simply the case. Uh, hating anything left leaning. That's inaccurate depiction of what it is that I certainly do. But either way, the second sentence is not connected to the first. Literally, all you do on Twitter is get into arguments with potential customers and spread your political propaganda. Now, keep in mind, what you don't see here is me asking the guy. And he, of course, he never answered. What have I ever done that? Uh, you talk about customers, potential customers, people that are genuinely interested in. You do not see me um, getting into arguments with those people. What you do maybe see me doing is dunking on my detractors. And these are people that. We're never going to buy my book. They are never going to buy my book. And the fact that we're doing what we're doing is something that really makes them mad. They're irritated at that fact. So they were never going to give us a fair shake anyway. The difference, I guess, is, is that I don't pretend like uh, or let's say it's comparison to some of these other companies is that I don't pretend that I ever have a <laughs> a chance that you're going to give me your dollar. I'll take it. Make no mistake. As I say. Unlike Kelly Sue DeConnick, if you don't like my politics, you can still buy my books. Similar plain. But these people initiate conflicts. They initiate conflicts. I am the responding agency and I will respond accordingly. And often these guys just they were talking down before the book even came out. And as to be expected, once the book came out, they were hating as well because they were never going to give us a fair shake. But this is another thing that he said in response to Bruce. I didn't buy because I would never give Eric money. Okay, so remember, this is the guy that was talking about potential customers. He just flat out admitted that he was not going to ever give us money. And again, you're saying the quiet part out loud. We know that you guys are never going to give us money. We know that you guys are never going to give uh, give us a chance, which is why I would never try to sit up there and like bend over backwards to try to cater to you. You're not a customer. You're not even a potential customer. You're a hater and you're doing what haters do. He says he, this is the crazy part, actively, he says he actively prays for, he said, I actively pray for his downfall. Now, that is the one of the more interesting things that I've heard some of my detractors say. Again, quiet part out loud, downfall and misfortune is what he says, just like he does all lip con snowflakes whose entire uh, bunch of buzz terms and yada yada. So he says that he prays for my downfall. I knew that I knew when you guys are moving the post like, hey, it was never going to come out. It was never going to be a thing. And then once it became a thing, it wasn't going to be successful. Uh, and once you saw the level of success, that post kept moving and moving and moving. Now, just on some serious on a serious note, I do think that, that is something that's not the proper way to use prayer. I don't know who you're praying to. Maybe it's a demon um, and, and that's what you're doing. I wouldn't advise that that's the way that you use uh, prayer to set up here and just pray for the downfall of myself. But you can do what you want. Right. You can do do by all means do exactly that. But what I enjoy out of all this is people being so irritated because they can't stop us. And that's what it is, guys. That's what, what the frustration is. 
We talked about a guy the other day where, you know, he started talking about like the customers and how much he even despises those people. That's what it's about. It's, hey, you guys built a sandbox. They can't control it. They can't go try to cancel anybody by way of the producers or the distributors or the publishers or anything like that because we do our own thing. So what else is there left to do other than flail? And that's actively what you see these people do, flailing. Bitching, moaning to something that they can't do anything about because, well, we're catering our books towards people that actually want to buy them, not to a phantom, let's say, audience that doesn't really exist, is not really an audience, is to paying, willing customers that I love and respect. And I do that. And they see that, they pick up on that. And of course, yeah, there are going to be those that root for me because they like me as a person. What's the problem? So many other folks seem to do that without any issue. I will absolutely take advantage of that. But you'd be surprised just how much success that you can have going back to the original point when you just give the audience what it is that they want and respect them. I am perfectly aware of the fact that nobody is obligated to buy I some one or or two or the upcoming books that we are going to be releasing. It is up to us as a company to put out something that you're willing to buy. And I will do everything that I can in my power to do that. And the minute that we ever stop doing that, well, that's when the money stops. That's when you guys stop purchasing it. We're not obligated to your money. And because, well, this is a just about as basic grassroots of a of a movement as there possibly can be. We don't get to rely on libraries and libraries and uh, let's say what else? Government public. Uh, let's say like scholastic stuff weaved in government stuff we don't get to do that retailers we don't get to do that what we do is rely solely on the customers buying the product and the minute that we stop doing that is the minute that we lose and to these weirdos and these detractors they don't seem to understand that them flailing means absolutely nothing to that i would advise that you go see a therapist to get that checked out because we're not ever going away so what you're doing is uh, uh, having this unnecessary reaction to something that you just don't have any control over. What you do have control over is over your life. How about you get a grip?